Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today we are doing a no makeup makeup look. This is the makeup look that I've been wearing in like a lot of my recent videos due to laziness and time constraints. So we are going to just hop right into it. I'm going to talk through it because I feel like why not? So yeah, we're going to get right into it. I have a lot of new videos up, so if you haven't seen them, please go watch them. Go like them. Go support me. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, subscribe. I'm starting off with this NYX Primer and Shine Killer. Um, I have been doing this acne treatment, so my skin is drier than usual, so I don't need to really apply my Becca and like my super heavy duty um, primers because my skin has been a little bit dry well actually a lot of it a lot of it dry so I put it in my t-zone and the creasing areas around my mouth where I usually crease and yeah I rub the leftovers onto my cheeks what I'm using as my foundation for my no makeup makeup look is my black radiance BB cream in SPF 15 this is in the color brown sugar I shake it up because it's like, you know, a bunch of crap in here. This actually was sent to me a long time ago. Um, and I just put, like, this is enough. Like, that and that is enough. Um, I'll probably put, like, one more dot over here. But I don't like to put too much of it because I like this look to be super no makeup for real. So I just spread it over my face and I use my hands to apply it. There really is no, like, rhyme or reason to it. It's a little bit dark for me and I wanted to try out their lighter color in this BB cream but at the moment this is the one that I have and I actually have been using it a lot when I put on my concealer it really um, just makes it look a lot better and you can still see imperfections and that's the whole point for me of this no makeup makeup look is that it doesn't look perfect or like I have on a beat face so if you came here for a beat face, I will link all of my other <laughs> makeup tutorials that give you more of a beat face. It's not a beat face at all. So I'm going to put one more dot over here where I have my acne scars and it's going to just help to cover these up. You see like it does a pretty good job of covering up the dark spots when you layer it on. So now while that's like kind of drying down, I like to do my eyebrows. And I don't do too much to my eyebrows. I will take my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And I will just brush my eyebrow hairs. This works if you have your eyebrows freshly done. If my eyebrows are not freshly done, this is not going to work. It's going to look like trash. So keep that in mind. Um, depending on where you are. If you've gotten a fresh threading or a fresh wax they will look better. So I just apply the mascara and I like that it just gives me a natural thickness and this is in the color espresso. I'm gonna just run that through. I'm not too much in love with the shape. So I'm gonna actually um, take the LA Colors Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the color Blackest Brown I'm just gonna like clean up the ends of the brow. If your brows are perfect, you can skip this step, obviously. I just like to do it, um, especially if I'm gonna be taking pictures or Snapchatting. Follow me on Snapchat. We get a pop in. I'd be so lazy to snap, but. I post on my Insta stories and on my snap. I try to as much as I can. So that's all for the brows. The brows I think are done. I like this like natural shape that I have. I just thicken it up a little bit and that's it. So now we're going to conceal. Um, I use a couple different concealers. I can use the NYX concealer, the liquid one. Or I will use the LA Color, LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color Toffee. This is my go-to concealer. And I just conceal because I like to. And I don't put on a lot of concealer. I put a little bit of concealer on. And I just put it on underneath my eyes. Wake me up a little bit. If I look super tired, it wakes me up a little bit. 
Also, because the foundation BB cream is a little bit too dark, I use this concealer to highlight my face and wake me up in those areas. So I'll put this concealer on my chin, I'll put it on my mustache area above my lip to brighten that up. I'll put it down the bridge of my nose. You guys already know this. Everyone knows this, right? And on my forehead, just a little bit. I already have a big forehead. We don't need to have too much of forehead. <laughs> too much of forehead going on. Okay, Alexia. And I'm using this damp makeup sponge from the Fenty Beauty Collection. And I'm gonna start with the outside of my face and just press this in. And what I'm gonna do now is powder my face. I'm using the Wowder by Glossier. I've done a video on this, I will link it above. I love this stuff. This is the only thing in this whole makeup look that is not super affordable, but it's like 20 bucks, so it's not crazy expensive. Um, but yeah, only thing that's not super affordable that I've used so far. I'm gonna use the same Fenty Beauty sponge, put the powder on it, and I'm just gonna set my concealer with it. This is in the color Deep Dark, I believe. Am I lying? I think it's deep dark. Dark deep, yeah. As you can see, I'm avoiding this area that would be considered the contour area. I'm not gonna highlight because it's a no makeup makeup look. If you wanna highlight, you can highlight for sure. I just know that my skin does not actually glow like that, so I'm not gonna waste my time and put highlighter on for a no makeup makeup look. And I'm gonna get my powder. This is the Black Radiant Soft Focus finishing powder in chocolate and milk chocolate and I'm just gonna like literally just lightly put this on my face I'm using this really just to blend everything together to make it more look like skin I'm actually gonna put on some lip gloss and some mascara the lip gloss I'm gonna put on is the NYX intense butter gloss and cinnamon roll I have been wearing this all of the time I absolutely what the hell was that love this stuff I love it so much so much this is the Catrice blackest false lashes glam doll flawless lashes mascara by Catrice cosmetics this is my favorite mascara um, it has been for a little minute now it really does make your lashes look like falsies and you just need one coat to be there. If I'm feeling extra, I will apply three and four coats, but you really only need one coat to get that false lashes look. Let me bring you guys in because I'm not even exaggerating. Give me a moment. One coat of mascara is on my face right now. On my face, on my eyes. And look at this. That's two coats. Like, I love this stuff. I really, really freaking love this stuff. Catrice Cosmetics, holla at me. Like, for real, holla at me. And this is um, cruelty free. I was looking for an affordable. Ow! Ow! Crap. I was looking for an affordable, um, cruelty free mascara, and I stumbled upon this off of the Ulta website. And I was like, yo good reviews let me try it out my eyes watering crap look at my complexion though look at my complexion like I'm actually really happy how this came out I'm going to spray my face down with the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray use whatever finish spray you have on hand whatever you prefer this is quite expensive but I love this stuff um yeah I'm still gonna my face with it I use this to get a more natural look it breaks down all that powder off of your face it gives you that natural natural look looks like skin anyways guys I hope this was helpful I hope you guys enjoyed it comment below your favorite no makeup makeup routine your favorite foundation your favorite 
everything that you use when you're in a rush and need to get your makeup done in like 10 minutes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe because we are growing and we are trying to get to 10K as soon as possible. I had a goal of 10K by the end of 2017. And when I made that goal, I only had 2K subscribers. So we're growing and I'm very happy with the growth that we are at, but I want to keep growing obviously and see how far I can take this thing. So subscribe to my channel, share with whoever you know that might be interested in natural hair, beauty, fashion, etc. I have a fashion video coming up next. So see you guys in that video. And yeah, give me a thumbs up. All right, bye.